Hello and welcome in section 2, solutions to convolutional neural network problems, and this is part 2. And let's start with the second part, with exploring the solution to the problem when we have an error in input, because the input is incompatible with the first convolutional layer. So once, when you have this model where the, the first layer is actually convolutional layer and two-dimensional convolutional layer, and you've got this input, you have to first ask yourself, okay, so what's inside input shape argument in this layer, right? So this argument will define what kind of dimensionality your data has to have to actually, for this layer to accept your input, right? And then you also have to check what's inside the data underscore format argument. And there are some different values for the second format, so it doesn't have to be, you know, defined. But the default one in data format is channel last. And that means that the channel dimension is actually presented as a last argument. And in general input shape, it should be a tuple with three values. And when we're working with images, we'll basically have width, high, and RGB, or basically the number of channels. If it's a grayscale, it will be one. If it's a just coral image, it will be often three, right? Because we have three channels there. So depending on your data set, you have to make sure that the input shape has been correctly defined. Also that you have channel, that you have data formed in default values when we talk about this protocol input shape. Uh, then you have to remember that batch argument here is added automatically. So you will get this kind of a weird looking error when you have a batch size included in your data, right? You have to exclude it, only provide wave height and RGB or, um, you know, channel value. So if you want to just check how it looks like, you can also provide you can actually use the shape argument for your data. Uh, chances are your input data is actually numpy array, so it has a shape argument that will show you the dimensionality of your data. And of course, you want to also do that not only with your X, you know, input data as a first argument, but also the second, and the train Y argument, the second one. So just make sure that you do those things and make sure that your data has exactly the dimensionality that you've provided input underscore shape. So if you want to know a little bit more about this problem and solution, also see some examples, check out the following resources 